Louisiana, as we said, is bracing for major flooding from a re-energized Harvey. This on the 12th anniversary of the day that Hurricane Katrina stormed ashore as a Category 3 hurricane. Senior correspondent Rick Leventhal is in Lake Charles tonight with the latest there. Good evening, Rick. Good evening, Brett. Calcasieu Parish has been pounded by rain for the last seven days, and they've gotten a lot more rain today, and they're expecting a lot more tonight. They've been seeing waves of it, not raining right now, but they fully expect uh, to get quite a bit more over the next 48 hours. And you've been hearing a lot about the Cajun Navy. We have examples of it as some of the boats and their drivers uh, are staged here uh, in the parking lot of the Lake Charles Civic Center. They've been told to stage here and prepare for emergency calls in this area. There were hundreds of people rescued last night. There could be hundreds more in need today, and the governor today approved bringing fuel here to this parking lot to give these guys the fuel they need for their boats and their trucks, uh, and also food as well, uh, so they can make not just rescues here, but also, Brett, to travel between Lake Charles uh, and Houston and surrounding areas. One of these guys told me they tried to get to Texas this morning and were turned around because the roads there were still too bad. And meanwhile, uh, the Lake Charles Civic Center tonight is now being turned into a massive rescue shelter because another shelter in town uh, was swamped earlier today by waters. The Purple Heart Rec Center surrounded by flood water earlier today. Uh, so that's one reason why they had to o open a bigger shelter. Also the need potentially for uh, hundreds if not thousands of evacuees from Texas making their way uh, to this area. We're told some Texans are in this shelter already tonight. We saw dozens of rescues last night. In fact, we're told that the Sheriff's Department, the Fire Department, uh, wildlife officials, and the National Guard pulled some 500 people out of several neighborhoods surrounding Lake Charles because of high waters that rose because of the heavy storms overnight, swamping their homes. And we went to that same neighborhood today, Brett, and the streets were were better. The water had dissipated, but the streets were still flooded, just not into the people's houses. But again, because this area is so saturated, they're fully expecting more people will need rescues tonight. Uh, again, the National Guard, one of the agencies helping out here, uh, we spoke with a major there about the assets they have in place and the work that they're doing. We drive in, we help load them in the back of the truck. Um, sometimes, sometimes quite, quite physically, have to just pick them up and, and get them in the back. The elderly, uh, the disabled, uh, they, they have to forcibly be picked up in the back of that truck. Tough work. How, how are you men doing? Oh, they're doing outstanding. I'll tell you, the uh, the guardsmen of the state of Louisiana. I mean, we we're well trained, well equipped, and, and we stand ready uh, to respond to uh, anything that the, the the local authorities need. We also saw a resident putting sandbags around his home, not just because of flood water, but because snakes are in that water, Brett, and the snakes have been coming into some of these people's homes, so that's another reason they want to put sandbags outside. Again, we have flash flood warnings in effect and the possible possibility of tornadoes overnight and throughout the day tomorrow in this region, Brett. They unfortunately know that all too well. Rick Leventhal in Louisiana, 12 years after Hurricane Katrina. Rick, thank you. We will